everyone, Stacy Burke here, and it's a Monday, so it's time for a brush before. For you, it's a Monday. For me, it is a Wednesday. I think it's the 15th or something. Uh, I don't know. It's the 15th, it's the 15th or the 16th of October. One of those days. Um, I had a little time off from the pumpkin patch because I'm the pumpkin queen. Hi. Uh, so it's kind of like day off, and I'm doing a lot of errands today. Um, just got out of the shower, so my hair is down. No makeup, which I love. That's why my nose is so red, because even though I haven't been in the sun, I've been working. I haven't been tanning. Still, I'm outdoors. My face is outdoors, and I always wear sunglasses, and my nose sticks out. So my nose is the darkest part of me, so that's why my nose is red. Plus, maybe because of the allergies as well. Just wearing my favorite jeans that I bought in high school at a thrift store. And I love them. They're the 501 Levi's, which I love. I need to find a pair. I don't want to buy them online because, you know, I want to actually wear them. Because I have probably at least 50 pair of jeans that I all have an issue with. They're all some kind of issue. They're not comfortable like these. They're just a button fly. You know, they're kind of baggy, but not really. They're just, you know, you know when you find a pair of jeans, it's just big to you. And I've been wearing these since I've been in high school. And I love them. And I hope they don't wear out ever. Um, but yeah, so one of these days when I do go shopping somewhere where there is 501 Levi's, I don't even know where to buy those at. I need to try some on and get normal, high-waisted butterfly fiber ones one of these days. But let me show you what I got. I forget how much I spent. I spent a lot, I guess, because it was like, I just, because I've been working a lot. I have, and, um, and I've been just eating like crap because I've just been like only a few times. So anyway, I just wanted to grab what I could grab while I had time without doing the online thing where it's like very expensive for stuff that I don't really know if I want or whatever. So I just grabbed, I went to the big girl store, I went to the big Ralphs, I took my time, I had, I got my coupons, I got some manager specials, and I just kind of went all out and this will be it until Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving, that's when I buy all the Thanksgiving stuff. And granted, there's some stuff that just even Ralphs doesn't have. Like I missed the vegan meats they don't have that good of selection of vegan meats like they do at my little barns which is weird so you know it's all like and i i guess i could have went to trader joe's but i don't want any more stuff in my face that um that i will buy because i will get impulse buys and then things just spoil like i told you about those crackers that i had or those chips that were not open and they were stale. They just get stale even if I don't open them. So I got to stop like hoarding so much food because it does kind of go bad. So let me show you what I got. Now I should have got the healthy bread because it was only a dollar more, but it was a big loaf and I can't fit it in the freezer. And this was in the manager section and it was a dollar one. And it's just like normal French bread. Sorry, I'm having allergies. I'm having these pins and needles right here. I'm having some kind of like, it feels like a little guy is attacking me with a sword right there and making my, making pins and needles in my nose. And it's just irritating me, but this will fit in the freezer quite nicely. And so I just got some extra bread just to, you know, whenever you need bread. So I got that, should have got the healthy bread, but it was a big fluffy loaf and I can't fit that in the freezer. Oh my God, I'm really being attacked right here. Oh, oh it hurts. Oh, and I did vote today, so I'm very excited I voted. Yes, I mail in the vote. I like to get it just one and done because going to the polls, I just don't want to go. I, you know, I'm an introvert anyway. I just like to do it in my own leisure time. Oh my Lord, did it hurt. Okay. I got more champagne. I got brute. I only got three bottles. I didn't get the six bottles. I probably should have, but, you know, I would have saved 30%, but I, I just was, I didn't want to carry all that. So I just got three bottles of the brute. It looks like they designed the, the, it used to be all wrinkly here and it's all, it's 
they, I don't know, they did something different with the foil, so it's new, and I don't think this is vegan, but I went ahead and got it anyway, this is Christian Brothers Holiday Nog, it is a season, and I, they do make vegan nog, so I can't wait to find it, however, this might be vegan, because this is like alcohol, this is probably all like chemicals and stuff like that, so I got some, um, uh, spiked eggnog, and then I got some, um, cheap Lysol. The Lysol was expensive, so I got the Kroger disinfectant. So I needed some more Lysol, so I got some Lysol. That's good, because I like to spray the trash cans with that, and I like to spray uh, my pillows that I sleep on with that. Oh my god, this hurts really bad. It's like this little guy is attacking me with a sword right here, big time. Oh my god. Of course, it is allergy season. I mean, springtime, yes. But for some reason in October, when the dry air starts hitting, something, my allergies go haywire. All right, so next up, I got more salad because I'm, I'm out of lettuce completely. And manager special, $1.86, plus I had 40 cents off. So awesome, right? I got two big bags of lettuce for a, for like really cheap, like less than $4, less than probably $2 because I had 40 cents off each of them. So, hey, hey, so I got lots of lettuce, lots of lettuce for my salads or for my sandwiches or for my wraps. And guess what I found? I finally found the Oreo um, um, Coca-Cola, the Zero Coke, so I'll get to try those. So you'll see that on camera because I still have the regular Oreos that I bought and been eating, so I had to get them. Even though I don't have the Coke Zero, I did try the Coke Zero Oreos, and I think I told you it tastes just like normal Coke Zero with a little bit kind of like a, 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 a chocolatey cookie aftertaste but it's very faint you can't really tell so i will try these even though everyone's done it before and you've probably seen them they probably taste like that not not, not that not much difference than the regular oreos but i'm hoping it'll be better than the coke um zero oreo i'm hoping these will taste better i think they will so i got that oh my god sorry this is like so painful it just hurt if you have allergies, like, you know, people that don't have allergies are, like, probably not understanding. But this is like, wow. Wow. Okay. And I got, like, I was just craving cookies. It's, it's the season where I crave cookies. And i never seen these before, but they're called fall favorites. And they're just normal sugar cookies, I guess, um, with maple leaves and stuff. So I never tried them. If you've tried them before, let me know. Um says no artificial colors or corn syrup, so it looks like it'll be good. I, I can't read the, the ingredients because I don't have my glasses on and my eyes are all watery from the allergies. But um, so I'm excited to try those, the fall favorite cookies. Oh, my God. Wow, this really hurts. Okay. Oh, and this was the spur of the moment. I was walking by, and you know how I like that ramen. And this is like all those spicy ramen you see. And I, I, I look carefully. I don't. Pretty sure it's vegan. If it's not, I just won't add the the little packet. Because if we don't add the packet, if it if you read something if it has non-vegan stuff, just don't use the packet. Because basically the noodles are vegan. So I just went ahead and got some of these spicy noodles are dollar twenty nine. I don't know. They just I just walked by them and I know I could probably get uh, uh, them cheaper, but I just I thought I would try. You know, I, I just put them in the cart because that's good to have on hand because they don't really go stale that much. Like they they could probably survive the apocalypse. I can't say it now because of this allergy. Apocalypse. 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 They can survive the the end of the world. They can survive the end of the world. Uh, okay. Oh my God. Okay. So I got some more Mexican blend cheese. 
this was cheaper. Um, this was on sale, and I didn't get a coupon for this because it wasn't for the coupon I needed, and it's not the cheap store bought. But it, for some reason, it was cheaper this time, so I got the Mexican blend uh, vegan cheese. It is vegan. Yep, plant based. So I can't wait to try that. And I got more for my mimosa. You know me. I, I want to get the regular grapefruit, but it's not. Nor is not to be found. I could only get grapefruit and squeeze it, but I can't find just regular unsweetened white grapefruit. So until then, I got the Ruby Red 100% juice, no sugar added because I don't like extra sugar because um, it's sweet enough. So I got more juice for my my my, my mimosas. And oh, and then I got another coupon for free bag of lemons. I still have lemons in the refrigerator that's in water it's for my first time. The second time I got the free bag of lemons, I gave them to the workers at um, the pumpkin patch because I didn't want them to go to waste because I have lemon juice. It's so much easier just to use the lemon juice for me. Uh, so I use that. But if it's a free bag of lemons, I'm going to take them, you know, and I'll probably bring them to work as well um, because... All the workers are there, and they're there all day. We have water and stuff like that. But, you know, if they want some lemon water, make some lemonade or something. So I got uh, two pounds of lemons for free. Why not? It's free, right? I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. So, and then I got some more because I go through this a lot, too, making my sandwiches and my salads. I got plant-based mayo, some more plant-based mayo. Yum. Love it. Put it in some of stuff. Oh, and then I've been eating hot dogs lately, chopping them up. These are vegan hot dogs, and what I do is first, oh, I put them in the, I, I freeze them, but when I when I make them, I defrost them in the microwave, and then I put them in my cast iron skillet with a little bit of oil, and I put some red onion. Oh, I forgot to get more bell pepper. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I forgot to get more bell pepper. Oh, I have bell pepper. So it's okay. Next week I'll get hopefully I'll get more bell pepper. I'm okay for now. But I like to chop up bell pepper and onions, and then I and then I put a little mystique seasoning, and then I I chop the this all up and I make like this kind of like Chicago hot dog type of thing, and then I sometimes I'll pour like um, barbecue sauce on it and cheese, and then I just put it and I just. It's just so yummy, and you can eat it just like that, or you can scoop it on a piece of bread. So that's my new thing. God, I should have got more. I should have got bell peppers, but it's okay. I'll get some. Oh, but you know what? You know why? Because I, I got so so much. This is a mountain special, and I love Brussels sprouts. So I can't wait to roast these, like two two forty or two fifty, and I probably had a coupon for this too because I had a coupon for a bag of um. Kroger brand vegetables. So I probably have 40 cents off of this. It was probably $2. So I got a big bag of Brussels sprouts. So that can be yummy. Can't wait to make those. And for my salads and for my, my sandwiches, I go through the banana pepper. It's so good. It's like they're even like pepper cheese, but they're uh, sliced banana peppers. Hi, Jesse. And I know I have pickles, but I don't know why I got more. I've been craving pickles, more pickles. And this is, um, I usually get the Hot Dave's, Famous Dave's, Hot and Spicy, uh, Devil Spit ones. But these are hot and sweet. These are good for the price. I think it was like two something. And so I got some sweet and hot pickles because I love pickles. And I got more barbecue sauce because I've been going through the barbecue sauce a lot lately with my hot dogs. And I got some red kidney beans because I love red kidney beans. And so I just got one can just in case because I like to throw them in salads or whatever or in my red beans and rice. Red beans and rice, it's so good that you have to say it twice. So I got some kidney beans. And whenever this is on sale, I grab it. Two seventy, dollars And it, it doesn't really spoil. Of course, it doesn't really spoil me because I use it so much. But if you ever find this avocado or even guacamole in a squeezer, get them because you just use a little dab and then you don't have to open a whole container and it spoils. This doesn't spoil. Like you could keep it in the refrigerator for a long time. 
and you just use it. Sometimes you can mix mayo with it and let it go further. Um, you could make it more guacamole. You could add like salsa to it. Um, I just love these little avocados, reusable things. And then I got some more uh, sliced cheese. I got some cheddar sliced cheese, vegan sliced cheese for my sandwiches. And since I'm there, I went ahead because I'm out of um, that, uh, the leaf blowers. Oh, I love leaf blowers. They're so soothing. Anyway, I got more um, vegan sour cream because that goes with everything too. So I love vegan sour cream. And yes, I have more down here. And I got more, um, my diet Dr. Pepper. So I got the cheap Dr. Pepper since I was in the big girl stores. I went my cheap Dr. Pepper. And I love this stuff too. This is zero sugar grapefruit soda. And this is good. And so this is so refreshing and good. You can mix it with tequila. You can mix it with vodka. Maybe you can do whiskey. I don't know. I have not. Um, even with champagne, if you want, just whatever. You can mix in with a little bit of water just to get that effervescence. This is so good. It's kind of like Fresca. It's like a, a cheap Fresca. Uh, I've been craving potato chips, so I, I got a couple. I got this sweet, spicy honey lace. And I, I tried these before. These are really good. So this is a small bag. I wish I could find a bigger bag of these, but maybe not because I'll eat them all. But these are uh, crinkle cut truffle oil and sea salt. These are really good. They're thick and they're crunchy. These are really good. I thought I'd try these because I haven't tried these yet. The sweet and spicy honey. Oh, my nose is killing me. Oh, no. My water. This is my water container. Oh, my God. What's these? Fish! Fish! Going for a third one? No, not going for a third. That's it. Hold on. Okay, that's it. That's it for now. Oh, my God, my allergy is going crazy. Okay, and that's it. I was there also. I went, got tortillas. I don't need to explain these. These are just a staple. You have to have tortillas with everything. And I had a coupon for these, and I, and I don't mind because I love tomatoes. I love tomatoes. So I got some more um, little baby tomatoes, but these are little medley. They're like different color tomatoes. And I don't really notice a different taste in each one. Oh, that is not, that is not what I think it is. I just bought these. That better not be, when I open them, I'm going to wipe them up. They better not be moldy already. I just bought them. It's only one though. So I think if I could wipe it off, it'll be good. I don't think it's mold. I think it's just uh, something on it, but I'll fix it. I'll fix it. It's only one. It's only one. And this was on sale for $2.99, like three bucks. So I went and got it some more pita, even though I don't have any hummus to go with it. But so what? It's like, you know, you like crackers, I like crackers. Or what I do is when I make a salad, I could crumble them up in um, my salad. So that's good with that too. Now this was like six bucks. It was a little expensive. I probably should have got the Beyond uh, in the freezer section. We have the Beyond uh, meat steak for like eight something. And this was six something, but I already know I like these. And these you don't have to freeze, you can put them in the refrigerator, but I probably will freeze them anyway. Korean barbecue, um, they, they, they these are so good. Um, but I have some broccoli left over, so I've been craving kind of like, um, you know, a broccoli beef type of bowl. And I do have ramen, and I also have rice, so I can make a broccoli beef thing. And I have sriracha, so I can. I could make the dish I've been kind of craving lately, so I got some of that. I told you, I kind of went crazy this time. Um, I've been craving potatoes, but I didn't want to get a big five-pound bag because already I've got a lot of food, and I didn't want them sprouting on me. So I just got three. Um, oh, wait a minute. I guess I got two. I thought I got three. Oh, I did get three. One fell off. <laughs> One fell 
um, just normal russet potatoes. Um, because I got some frozen chor chorizo, not chorizo, but chorizo, plant based, and it goes good with potatoes. And I can make a baked potato with a leftover broccoli or pour something on it or whatever. Potatoes, I've just been craving potatoes lately. Maybe I need potassium, I don't know. But I got some potatoes. Plus, it is the season when you crave stuff like that. So I got potatoes. I should have got more spinach, but they didn't have anything on sale. They didn't have a big bag. So I, I already have spinach, so I like didn't get it. Plus, I got so much. Whoops. I got so much of other vegetables that I didn't want to overload because I can't eat all of them. And then, of course, I got another red onion, of course. I always go to my red onion. And that is it. I forget how much it was. It was like um, 100. I think it was close to 100. I think it, yeah, it was $97. So that's not bad. That's why it is worth it when you go to the big girl store, the big store, even though it takes time, it takes because there's everyone there. Because not only is everyone in there with these the big carts. I wish they had the small carts. But everyone has those big, massive carts. And they, 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 they go through the aisles like they drive. Oblivious to things. Crash. Like, just, just, you'll get run over. Plus, they were stocking people. No, not stocking. But <clears throat> the workers were stocking the shelves. And there are another one. They don't care if they're blocking your way or whatever. They're just stalking and talking to people and you're trying to maneuver around them. <laughs> so it was busy at the grocery store today. It was busy because even when it's not busy with people, it's busy with the workers stalking. They're all stalking. You have to get, you know, out of their way, in their way. And you're, then uh, you, if you miss something, you got to walk down the whole store to the other side of the aisle to get something if you want to get something. So I usually just park my, my cart somewhere in the middle and I walk to each aisle and then I put it in the cart. I try not to push the cart through the whole aisle. It's just an obstacle. It's too much of an obstacle. I could go in and out easier without a cart and just put it in my cart. I remember where my cart's at. And then at home place where the cart's at, I start organizing all the heavies first and all the light and the breakables. So when I, when I put them on the conveyor belt, all the heavies go first and so they can pack them and then all the breakable stuff and all the delicate stuff like the chips, you know, I package all that up. And that's where I kind of look at my coupons because I get up my coupons ready. So everything's ready. So when the cashier is ready for go, I have my debit card and my coupons like bam, you know what I mean? And then I'm in and out and all the bags are there and it's like, yeah, it's very sufficient like that. So I you know, and I got a lot. I got, I even got eggnog. I got champagne. I got Lysol. I got, like, I got a lot of stuff, you know? So I think I did pretty good. And I'm pretty much set. So probably next week will probably be very minimalistic. Uh, and then after that, of course, in the holiday season, you're going to see me get my Thanksgiving grub on. So, um, yeah. So. So that'd be cool. So, all right. So that's my grocery haul, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and yeah, I got so much. In fact, I did I show you? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. There's a lot of things I got uh, on Amazon. Maybe I'll do a different one. But um, I got this. I don't know if I showed you this, but I got this on Amazon because I put this in my coffee now. I used to do it a long time ago, but I'm going to start doing it now because since I've been busy, the protein, I haven't been eating right. I've been eating just like, just whatever, you know what I mean? And so I haven't been eating a good balanced meal. Um, and so I do, I think I needed more protein in my life. <laughs> so I just, this is a vegan protein, like pea powder. And I got this on Amazon. I forget it was, it has to be cheap if I bought it. And what I do is I make my coffee, I make a big pot of coffee, and I put it in this mason jar, and then I put uh, three scoops of the vegan powder in it, and then I put uh, four little packets of uh, the monk fruit, stevia monk fruit, and uh, then of course the 
the oat creamer, which is the pumpkin spice, either almond or oat creamer. So yeah, and then um, and then I just keep it in the refrigerator, and I could drink it cold or I could warm it up, and then I just keep doing it. And then when it's almost gone, I make another pot and do the same thing. So this is my protein coffee. This is my pumpkin spice uh, vegan uh, protein coffee. So that's how I do my coffee. That's how I do my coffee. That way it's always ready for me and I don't have to wait for the whole pot to, to make in the morning. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to let you go because this nose is killing me. So to all my cats and all my cats, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.